Nala. Hey guys, my name is Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing the. Oh, hello. Oh my. Oh wow. Today I'm going to be doing the platonic book tag, and this was originally created by Horace Reads, and she also tagged me in this, so I'll make sure that I will leave her link in the description down below so you can go check out her video. And without further ado, let's get right into the questions. There are 10 of them here, and I will try to be quick. Question one is a popular book series that I haven't read, and that is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. A lot of people have read this series. A lot of people love it, and a lot of people hate it, and I don't really think that I'm ever gonna pick it up. I mean, never say never, but I don't think that I will. That's a pretty popular series, and I have never read it before. Number two is what is a book I already know the ending to because someone spoilt it, and who spoilt it? This has to be Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I haven't read any of the books in the Divergent trilogy. Basically, there are spoilers for the end of Allegiant everywhere. Who hasn't told me the end of Allegiant? That should be the question. Number three is what is a book I think I'd like because of the synopsis. I'm going to see Outlander by Diana Gabaldon and I've actually got a copy of it to read when I go on holiday tomorrow and I'm very excited. Number four is what is a book I don't think that I'd like because of the synopsis and for me that is the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. I don't know, I don't really think it's my thing. Number five is name a book that you were going to read until someone convinced you not to, and for me this is going to be The Cursed Child by JK Rowling. I still haven't finished the Harry Potter series, I am in the middle of Goblet of Fire, but I know that when I pick it up again I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. <laughs> but when I finished I was going to read The Cursed Child, but my friend convinced me not to, because apparently it's just not as great. <laughs> and I trust what she thinks about it, so there we go. Number six is name a book that I want to read solely because of the cover. This isn't solely because of the cover, but if I saw this in a bookshop without knowing the concept of the book then I probably would have picked it up and wanted to read it straight away. That is because you'd have to hate me after finding out what it's about. I want to read it even more and it's a collection of short stories written by 13 authors in collaboration with 13 booktubers and I think that'd be really nice to read. I was going to pick it up but I didn't have enough money because I was spending my money on other books. I will pick it up eventually and I do want to read it. Number seven is name a book that you don't want to read because of the cover. And for me, I chose Uglies by Scott Westerfeld and I'm not an awful person. I did not just look at the cover and decide not to read it. I did look at what it's about and I even started the audiobook not too long ago, but I just didn't really enjoy it. I didn't really get into it, so I stopped. I don't think I'm ever gonna pick it up again. I looked at what it was about. Doesn't really interest me. If you love it, you love it. But from the start, all I had was the cover and didn't really look very interesting, didn't catch my eye, so I guess that. Number eight is name a character you've fallen in love with even though you haven't read the book. I haven't really properly fallen in love with any characters from books that I haven't read, but my older sister is constantly, like constantly talking about Han Alistair from the Seven Realms series. So I guess he's the character that I know the most and he seems pretty great, so I guess if I read those books I'm likely to fall in love with him. Number nine is name a book series that you want to read because of the hype. And I want to finish the Percy Jackson series because I started it, I read the first two and I didn't finish Titan's Curse. But I want to start again, read the whole of the Percy Jackson series by Rick Ryden and then read the Heroes of Olympus as well afterwards because they're set afterwards and it continues the story. But if it's a series that I haven't even started at all, I know nothing about apart from the synopsis, I would say the Lux series by Jen for L. Armand Trout because so many people are talking about it. Basically everyone seems to have read it so I feel like I have to read it just to know what people are talking about. And the last question number 10 is how many unread books do I have on my shelf? Let me explain a little bit. The majority of books that I've read are on my older sister's shelf because she has a lot more books than me and she bought all the books before I did so I thought it was pointless to buy them, spend my money on them when I could read them and then get other books with that money. So I don't have that many books that I've read on my shelves. I still like to have books in my room though so I've just taken all the books that my older sister that doesn't want on her shelves. So currently this wasn't planned at all. I have 23 read and 23 unread books on my shelf. This is the 47th book on my shelf, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, which I'm currently reading. I've taken the jacket off because it was very likely to get messed up and ruined if I kept it on. I'm currently this far through it. I'm on page 312 out of 500, I think. So I'm going to finish this tomorrow. My plane is very early in the morning, so I'll have the whole day to read this. But at least a couple of those books up on my shelf are on my immediate TBR. So I'm taking Outlander, which is on there, and The Upside of Unrequited, I'm taking those to Croatia. So soon I will have more read books than unread books on my shelf, which I think is progress. I'm getting somewhere. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will leave the people who I tag in the comments down below. I'll probably tag one or two people. And also, if you want to do it yourself, I tag you. You can say that I tagged you and you can do this tag. Make sure you go check out the original version. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.